Want to lose weight in Ramadan? We are here with some incredible tips which will guide you how to lose weight in Ramadan. Ramadan is the month that teaches self-restraint. So, let's use this month to restrain our bad eating habits and to adopt a healthy eating routine. Ramadan iftar feasts are the biggest chance of overeating and consumption of unhygienic diet. However, it depends upon us how we use this holy month to attain great benefits of fasting by making good decisions about food while focusing our mind on the spiritual purification. Skip the deep fried, backed and oily dishes from Ramadan menu. In many countries, it's trend to fill the tables up with lots of delicious food including deep fried snacks, backed food items, grilled and greasy dishes. It would be good to avoid such food items with some healthy diet. Such as the deep fried snacks like samosa, pakora, and fried chicken can be replaced with fruits. And the best way for the purpose of to refresh the stomach is the usage of fruits. Fruits provide the energy required for the human body to work properly and help in weight loss. Avoid the use of starches by skipping the use of bread, pasta, high sugar foods, and fruits. Replace processed foods like soda and deserts with alternative sweets that contain fewer calories. Eat balanced meals. In Ramadan, the iftar meal is the major cause of an unbalanced diet and overeating. It's the common thinking that you have to eat enough food which should make up for the fasting hours that you have spent without food. But that's not the case. During fasting, the human metabolism slows down and the energy needs of the body decrease as well. Don't think that you have eaten nothing all day, and eat just according to your regular diet plan. Use dates to break the fast as it provides enough energy and sugar which the body requires after a fast. One date is enough for this purpose because dates contain a high amount of sugar. Avoid the creamy dishes and appetizers that are nothing but carbohydrate packs. More water usage in eating hours. After a day-long fast, drinking water becomes the first priority. Overdrinking of water in iftar can disturb your stomach. So, first, break your fast with something else and then drink a single glass of water or juice. It would be good to consume more amount of water as it is the main key point to lose weight in Ramadan. By doing so, you can evade dehydration in fasting hours and control the consumption of sugar after breaking fast. But you have to be careful while drinking water in your eating hours. So we have a plan for you. The water requirements of a person can be broken down like this. Drink two glass of water in iftar, one right after breaking fast and one after offering the prayer of Maghrib. Four glass of water between the suhoor and iftar meal, eat only one glass of water in one hour. Two glass of water during suhoor meal. This proper use of water will help you to burn fats, clear the waste items out from kidneys, and clean the stomach. Avoid the usage of caffeine such as coffee, black tea, and soda drinks. However, it would be good to use green tea or herbal tea as an alternative to water as it makes the digestion better. I hope you like the video and be sure to subscribe our channel.